Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and we're going to bake tonight shortbread. This particular easy, quick, and fast recipe, I tend to like to use my clay cookie molds. So I'm just going to show you them real quick, the ones that I'm, I'm going to use. And this recipe, as I said, it is it's so easy to, to make. In a large bowl, you're going to put one cup of butter that's been at room temperature and you're going to cream that and I'm going to use my um, hand mixer to do that and just break that butter up in the bowl. Now I'm going to put in powdered sugar and I'm going to need two thirds of a cup of powdered sugar and I'll do that on low. Okay, that's all the sugar. Now I'll raise my speed a bit to get to the bottom of the bowl and work the sides. And now I'll go on high. And I'll show you what I have so far. Now, when I use these cookie molds, I generally get four cookies out of them, of the ones that I just showed you. Here we have so far what it looks like, very creamy and very light. We're also going to need vanilla, so we're going to be putting in two teaspoons of vanilla, and we'll beat that in. We're also going to put in one eighth of a teaspoon, well, of salt. I really wanted to put it in with the flour, but that's all right. That was an eighth of a teaspoon. And you're going to need flour, of course. And you're going to need two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And I'll just put a little in at a time. And. Um, on low so the flour doesn't go all over the kitchen. Now if you don't want to use this recipe uh, for cookie molds, that they're going to come out uh, terrific. Um, it really depends though how you're going to, um, you know, whether you want to cut them in a bar and then slice them in slices and then um, bake them. Uh, they are going to be baked up at 325 and if you're using your cookie molds they will take you 30 to 35 minutes to bake up in your cookie molds. If you're just going to make cookies out of them they could take 18 to even 25 minutes depending you know on your on your ovens because we do know they all set up differently but um, the ones I'm showing you primarily tonight are the ones that I've made with molds and I get four cookies four large cookies out of that so I'm just working the rest of the dough now with my spatula now the dough itself when it comes out you want it to be where you can work with it if it's really sticky you don't want to work with it like that. So you're going to add some extra flour. Um, if you find that it's really sticky to the touch, add about a quarter of a cup of flour. Uh, my dough tonight uh, isn't. It's pliable, it's easy to work with, uh, so I don't need additional flour. But if you find it's very sticky to work with, add that flour. It's going to make it a lot easier. And now with my clean hands, I'm just going to mix the rest of this here to show you what the dough looks like. Okay, and it's going to look like that. And um, it's not real sticky. It'll be like a soft clay that you're working with. Okay? Now to get your mold prepared, I like to just spray my mold lightly and then I put a little flour in it and then I just keep moving it around to dust it 
and then I just tap off the extra flour. And then what I like to do is just take a piece of the uh, cookie dough and just smooth it in my fingers. I, I like to do them about a little less than a half an inch. And then I just start pressing in the cookie dough. Now, I do like to bake my cookies in the mold. And as I said earlier, they take about 30 or 35 minutes. Um, you can, uh, if you don't want to bake, of course, uh, if you only have one mold, one cookie at a time, uh, you will need a knife to pry the cookie out of the mold to put it on a cookie sheet for yourself. Um, if you do bake cookies <clears throat> out of the mold, I would lightly spray uh, your pan. Now what you want to do is to make sure though that you've pressed in the dough into um, your little mold and smooth it out as evenly as possible and then you want to just take a fork and, and uh, put little holes in the back for even baking like that. Again, if you don't have a lot of molds and you just want to pry that out with a knife and then put it, put it on a, a cookie sheet. But I actually just put the molds right in the, uh, right in the oven and they come out beautiful. Now after that 30 or 35 minutes, do put your um, hot cookie and mold on a cooling rack uh, for at least about 10 or 15 minutes before you unmold your cookies because you don't want them to break. And if I didn't mention, there it's at 325. Now I have some to show you that I did bake ahead of time. Here's one that came out exceptionally very pretty, the one with the heart that I showed you. This is another larger heart. The back, again, you'll see those little holes that I made with the uh, fork. Here's another one. And I have this little one that I'm just going to break for you to show you how crisp and light that they come out. They really are a great tasting shortbread cookie. Now what I usually do is if I have a little uh, cookie dough left over, I'll roll it in a bar and, I, and then slice them. And then I make little like finger cookies. And then all I did was I took some chocolate chips. Uh, I think it was about six ounces of uh, chocolate chips with a, a teaspoon of uh, solid shortening, melted it in my microwave, and just dip the cookie in the chocolate and then set it on uh, wax paper or parchment paper till the uh, cookie, um, you know, the chocolate um, gets hardened on the uh, cookie. So there you have it. You've got a very easy shortbread cookie recipe using molds or without a mold. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment. Thanks again, and please subscribe.